Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another plug side chat. So EVgo just announced a update to their partnership with Nissan where Nissan is going to be funding 200 new DC fast chargers. These are going to be 100 kilowatt chargers and I think they stated it would be close to about 60 million dollars in total funding. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about this because we're not really sure about the details of this plan. We don't know exactly how it's going to be implemented, but when they say the 100 kilowatt chargers, I'm reasonably certain that these are the chargers that don't require liquid cooled cabling. So one of the good things about those non-liquid cooled cables is it decreases the cost and it allows them to build out more chargers with the same amount of money. Now, 100 kilowatts by modern standards is really slow. It doesn't really compare well against uh, Tesla's superchargers, especially their V3 superchargers that are capable of 250 kilowatts. And it doesn't really compare well with the new 350 kilowatt CCS chargers that we've seen going in. But for Nissan, uh, this makes sense because right now their current LEAF E Plus is limited to 100 kilowatt charging. So there's really no need uh, to fund chargers that are faster than that. And really outside of specific highway travel stops, 100 kilowatts is about where you'd want uh, charging to be. Tesla limits their urban superchargers to 70 kilowatts, very much for the same reason. And the one thing I hope EVgo does not do with these chargers is what I saw with their implementation of these 100 kilowatt chargers in San Jose, where it's a split power between two chargers. So if you're using one charger and someone comes in and starts using the charger next to it, your power is cut in half. And so maybe it's 100 kilowatts technically max power but once you're sharing that with someone else, it drops to only 100 amps for each charger, which is technically less than 40 kilowatts the way most vehicles charge. So I hope that's not what they do. And the other thing is too, these are 200 chargers that are being added to EVgo's current tally of about 1200. And I really hope that these 200 chargers are actually only split among maybe 40 to 50 sites total because one of the things that we need moving forward is at least four to six chargers per charging location. The one-offs, two-offs, three-offs, these, uh, these sites are gonna get overwhelmed really, really quickly. Even four right now, I think, is really the bare minimum. And so I think for EVgo to leverage these 200 chargers the best way they possibly can, I, I think it should be no more than 30 to 40 sites and the rest of the chargers. I actually think that they should use some of this funds to add two of these 100 kilowatt chargers to existing sites. EVgo already knows which sites they have that are seeing the highest amount of usage. Hopefully they're also listening to the feedback they're getting from customers as well because while they can measure how often a charger is being used, they might not have data on how many times people are having to move on because the charger was occupied. So if they can identify these sites that are seeing the highest usage and add these 100 kilowatt chargers there, I think it will make these 200 chargers go a lot further than they would normally. And then of course, I still think that we do need to start looking for more dedicated highway charging spots, uh, maybe things to bridge the gap. There are still some really tenuous routes out there. Uh, EV Connects, DC Fast Charger and Blythe went down. So now Interstate 10 travel between Southern California and Arizona. It, it's really difficult to do until someone else builds another DC Fast Charger somewhere between Quartzsite and Blythe. So routes like that that are being underserved, sure, I think we could see maybe 20 to 30 of these new sites going in around the country in these different highway corridors that are you know, underserved. But for the rest of those 200 chargers, I really do think that they should just go through the sites that are seeing the highest usage and just add a couple. And I think that will get the biggest bang for the buck. 
Uh, and then one other thing too. So Nissan is really kind of doing this because I, I feel like VW and Electrify America has forced their hand because Electrify America is building a nationwide fast charging network, but they're not really supporting Chatmo vehicles. So Nissan is sort of forced into doing this which is good in that we want to see more chargers. Uh, it's sort of a bad on Electrify America by not providing more support for Chatmo, but it really just is Nissan and Mitsubishi at this point. Uh, so how much they should focus on that, you know, is a valid question. But I think more to the point, uh, this is maybe an indicator to companies like GM, to Hyundai, to Kia, you know, Jaguar, even though they're only really, you know, putting out maybe uh, 200, 300 I-PACES a month right now, they should probably look to fund some of these existing public charging networks and add chargers to their roster, pay for it. Uh, I mean, right now we have EVgo and Electrify America uh, charge point, but, you know, they really just sell their chargers and possibly Recargo if they're still expanding their network, though we really haven't heard from them lately. But uh, companies should maybe just do a token $50, $100 million worth of funding to add 20, 30, 40 sites uh, for these public charging networks. And what they get out of that is a lot of good, positive publicity. Uh, and you know, all of us as electric vehicle owners benefit as well. So I think some of the other automakers should really consider following uh, Nissan's lead in this regard. So I'd love to hear what you think. Have you had a chance to use some of these faster 100 kilowatt uh, EVgo chargers? What has your experience been with EVgo? Uh, and where would you like to see these sites uh, put in? I'd love to hear uh, where you guys are experiencing some issues uh, with not having enough coverage. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And thank you for watching.